Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast. Oh, I am so excited to tell you today, the Dickinson County Nature Center, it's open everybody, it is open. And Bree Coolman is here with me today. Bree, thanks for having me over. Thank you for coming over today, Jeff, appreciate it. Well, you know what? Uh, how did the bee and butterfly thing go? So last week we hosted a week long celebration of our monarchs and our bees and it went wonderful. Uh, we celebrated Tuesday through Friday, four to seven every night. And I think most of our families who signed up came, we had one or two who, you know, schedules changed and weren't able to make it. But other than that, we had full house every night. It was a really calm Bee and Butterfly Festival. Uh, we got a lot of compliments for that. People were able to enjoy the trail system. It was a beautiful week last Good. week. The evenings were wonderful. So we can't complain. We tagged uh, over 700 monarch butterflies and sent them down to Mexico last week. And we still have more to take, although not today because it's too cold and rainy. So How's our butterfly or our monarch population? Because I can think of a few years there, quite a few where it seemed like the monarch population was down, Bree. Yeah, so it is still on decline, unfortunately, but it, people are more aware of the situation and people are doing their part to plant pollinator gardens and monarch specific gardens full of milkweeds and wonderful, delicious nectar plants um, all through the communities from all the way up north, all the way down south. Right. So I think as the issues become more apparent, people do want to do their part to help this beautiful creature, uh, help this beautiful creature make the migration. So. Well, as we said before, the Dickens County Nature Center is open once again. And Bree, I just have to say that uh, what I'm enjoying the most is I'm, I'm hearing the sound yes. of children yes. behind us and, and taking part. I saw them over there. In the, and yes. Yeah. It's just, you know what? It feels so good. Yes, it does. What, uh, what, what do you got going on here today? Uh, so we had Nature Tots this morning at 1030. So some of the folks you may see running around or you may hear in the background, they were there for that program. We have that again happening at 130 and we will be doing that monthly on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So keep an eye on our calendar. We'd love to have your kiddos ages two to five join us for that programming. Well, and as people can see right here, uh, you and I and everybody here in the Nature Center, yes. all wearing the masks. Yeah, so we ask that all patrons who come to visit us, if you're five and older, we would prefer you to have a mask on uh, just to provide for safety of our staff, volunteers, and of course, other patrons. Yes, absolutely. So um, what are things that the Nature Center look like right now is with the doors being back open, besides the masks, anything special you're doing, uh, Bree? So um, we're only open Wednesday and Friday currently, but we're open 10 to 4 on those days. Okay. Um, there will be someone staffing um, behind the front desk when you walk in. Um, and most everything is fairly normal. Um, we did take out a few parts and pieces, but for the most part, there's still a lot of hands-on things for people to enjoy. Um, and there's still a lot of things to read and look at. So we encourage you guys to come on down and enjoy your time here. And you're still doing your great noon nature facts on that. Uh, oh, yes. On, and I have gotten a kick out of about the last week. A lot of facts on poop. Yes. <laughs> I can't put it any other way, Brie. <laughs> Our gross nature facts. That's it. Um, and those were a lot of fun. Um, in a few weeks, we're going to be doing a animal superheroes nature fact for about a week. So those will also be a lot of fun to read as well. Okay. Uh, how's our osprey? Uh, have they taken off again? Or well, that, fortunately, we didn't get any osprey at our nest here. Um, so I don't know, but they no, will. That's kind of unusual because uh, generally they've been coming back here year after year. Yeah, so I'm not sure what that's all about. So hopefully next year they'll come back and we can watch them on the camera. Uh, but the osprey are still around. They will probably start to head down on their migration here mm. in the next month or so. You know, it's a great time to come to the Nature Center, and I think it's a great way to come come along the trails here. Yes. Because, you know, we're getting to that fall season, Bree, mm -hmm. and things are changing color. Yes. All the, the wetlands and the grasslands out here and so forth, getting that different look, and it's just so pretty. Yes, I agree. So although our Nature Center is open Wednesday and Friday, it still remains our 75 acres of outdoor space is available to go on a hike. And Jeff is right. Uh, the seed pods are starting to pop open. So uh, it's kind of the end of life, but also the beginning of life. If you think about the seed pods opening up and seeds dispersing for next year. Very good. Anything else coming up here in the next month or so that we could talk about? Or uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, 
that, we would love to have people sign up for our family nature nights. Okay. Um, we're doing two a night now, so we're going to do a five to six o'clock and a seven to eight o'clock. We're limiting to six families, but um, with the two uh, available sessions, we're hoping that we'll still be able to accommodate the same number of families just over a more spread out time. So. Well, and if you want more information, they're just killing it on Facebook. Just the make sure you like and share everything from the Dickinson County yes. Nature Center. And you've got an award-winning uh, web page as well. Lots of information there. Whatever's coming up, whatever's going on, the days you're open, all that stuff, it's right there as yes, well. Yes, it is. Yes. Well, um, congratulations on getting the doors open again, Bree. It's so exciting for, for myself, for the kids, yes. for everybody who loves coming. I have to get this thing up in my nose. There we go, a little better right here at the Dickens County Nature Center, and I, I certainly appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Jeff. All right, uh, Bree Coolman here from the Dickens County Nature Center. Doors are open, everybody. Check out their hours and days that they are open. And lots, like she said, over 70 acres outdoors to enjoy. And some beautiful weather is coming back here in the Iowa Great Lakes. A little bit of a, a cool spell here, but it's going to get better. Great time to be here at the Dickens County Nature Center. We thank Bree for being here with us. And we thank you, as always, for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff V is brought to you in part by Pure Fishing in Spirit Lake. Last Touch Painting and Cleaning, providing interior, exterior, and house painting and professional cleaning services in Spirit Lake. Okaboji Mattress Company, one mile west of the junction of Highway 9 and 71 in Spirit Lake. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. And Ducky's Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake. Roof and Locker, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Back Engineering in Spirit Lake. Be Radiant Laser Skin Studio, newly located in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. And by Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisors Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz.